another day another video welcome back to the channel everybody today we're watching prison break this is the eighth episode of the final season yes as we know it right now this is the final season the fifth season and uh, we are running our most likely dislike characters of the season it takes 30 seconds and your results are mine be sure in the final episode cannot wait to see you guys pick as well as we're running our most liked characters throughout the whole franchise and most liked seasons throughout the franchise three votes are allowed on both of them and they'll be aggregated and shown the top three results in the next episode as well as we'll be selecting the next show on the channel that has been consistently in every single description of every video that is on the channel that i pretty much ever upload to choose the next show this is where prison break was selected from that vote and now we're going to choose the next tv show obviously that we're going to watch from your guys's opinion so i can't wait to see which show we're going to be watching next but you know we've got to continue with this one and last episode it ended interestingly with obviously sarah finding out that poseidon is actually her husband and she's been i don't know duped a bit you know what i mean she thought he was then he convinced her that she what he wasn't and then obviously you know after speaking with michael because she did fly all the way to greece you know michael had to escape yemen he was on a boat he went to Greece, 12 hours, poison. She flew over there as well, same distance, and then she's coming, she's treated him. She was a donor. She put some blood into him, she, you know, got him all better. He was flicking through some of the pictures, looking at his son, Mike, and then obviously he's seen Poseidon there. He told her who she actually is. Do you know what I mean? Interesting, unless she's gone back, tried to keep a poker face. We all know that can't happen. Do you know what I mean? Every time we see her kind of be put in these sticky situations, comes out pretty much just like that, or especially 10 minutes later or whatnot. Now, she's trying to take him out, you know. She's pulled a gun on him at the end of the episode, and he's turned around. He tried to flip it and manipulate it like it's kind of her fault. And why does she not, like, love him and all the stuff that he's treated her well all these years? He loves Mike like it's his own and all this stuff. Tried to make her kind of feel bad when clearly it's him. He's doing all this manipulating and all this stuff. We've seen him also kill a CIA agent as well. You know, the group. And now they've gone and took Mike. So she was going to be in a position of, obviously, power by pointing a gun at him and saying that, you know, you better do this, this, and this. And he turned around and said, look, mate, if you want to see your son again, you don't want no harm to happen to him, then you're going to put the gun down because I'm in full control. And she actually done that. Now, interestingly, with Michael, he was on a cargo, called Sucre up, picked him up, you know, tried to get out of Greece, and uh, they was on their merry way. Now, again, the captain, he's got, a, um, you know, like a fax coming through showing that, obviously, Michael's a wanted man, called... Um, I think the US Navy, they've come over, they've come down, they've tried to obviously extract Michael off the boat and kill him as Poseidon's orders, but Sucre, yes, good team player, managed to turn the boat, go into international waters, it was pretty much going into Algeria, so that meant that they couldn't actually kill Michael or anything, because obviously it would cause um, you know, an international incident, so what they've ended up doing is just shooting a rocket on the ship, and they've all had to just jump off it, and uh, that's how we've seen them in their last episode, so very interesting stuff, today's and tomorrow's finale, it's going to be exciting, thanks for checking it out, if you do enjoy it, please smash the like, really helps out, subscribe if you're new, and as always, let's jump into today's episode. They've had this before, haven't they? Been picked up in the water. I own you, Schofield. I know everything about you. Even your most mundane actions. Like the zoo. What's with you and the zoo? Just figuring out how to get your guy out of Baron Kia. Hmm. Turns out he's not just a rebel leader, he's a murderous sociopath. You and me? We're changing the world. Don't act like you're suddenly a fan of the status quo, okay? You know, it was those tats of Fox River that caught my eye in the first place. I had to know everything about the man who wore his plans on his skin. Yeah, the secret to real power is to never betray your intention, to wear nothing on your sleeve, and to never let anyone see your face. Reckon it's scanning a different face. What I want to know is he works for the CIA, but he looks like he's a professor as well. So, like, does he have, like, a double job and then Come also in. this one on the side as well that he's doing? Next time I'm sitting in solitary, I'll think of you in here. Running the world in air-conditioned comfort. Oh, really? The prison campus sitway is a two-man job. I'm watching this guy. He'll be useful. He'll have my back and he'll speed things up. Increase our odds. Not exactly a distinguished career. I'll always be a step ahead of you. You know that. Mm, Michael's really intelligent. Can. You think you can, but you definitely can't. Done. Yeah. Is See, I did say I wanted to know more about this whip and his backstory. Do you know what I mean? And the other ones as well. But it seems like we kind of just, like, distanced ourselves now. He stayed over there, aren't he? Are she and Mike okay? That's what I'm trying to find out. I love you. Hey, <laughs> he's not going to care. Uh-oh. Uh, see, right? 
what he's going to say, what is it, Michael? I've obviously jumped in before he said it. Last episode, he asked, you're not calling him Mike Jr., are you? And she said, no. That's going to be the giveaway there that, obviously, she's been taken. Nothing's wrong. Mm-hmm. Yes, you will. He knows it. He messed up calling him Junior. You can't allow this, remember? There'll never be no flight with in the world. Jacob's done something to Sarah. Maybe Mike, too. She referred to our son as Junior. We agreed, but never call him that. Where's Mom? Oh, I uh, dropped her off at work while you were at school. It would be a little hard to sail with the mast that far forward. Your ship might tip over. The mast has to be there. It's not just a ship. It's a treasure map. This is the park. That's the playground. And this is the sidewalk. You put a code in the drawing. So, okay, where did you hide the Legos? In the sand. That's where I buried the Legos. I mean, it's pretty good and it makes sense, but, like, that drawing doesn't really look like a path and a park or a pool or a sandpit or anything. <laughs> I can't spend another two weeks on a cargo ship. He's got my wife and kid. Maybe another way. Here we go, yeah. He owes somebody 100 grand still. You know, we're going to gloss over it. Exonerated. She left Panama. I mean, Sophia stayed behind and opened a dive shop. You weren't there to stop me so before I knew I was in the old hood. Moving things from point A to point B. To Luca Abruzzi. John Abruzzi's son. They told me not to look in the boxes. The amount of fentanyl they're smuggling out of Europe. Tens of thousands of pills in every box. So I dumped the box in the dumpster. 100 grand's worth. Right, so that's why then. He owes it because he obviously didn't do the drugs. You actually think I want to help you? I'm not in Chicago. I'm in Marseille. Marseille? Yeah. I've been working on a couple of deals. I got 100k in my hand. I need to sneak into the States invisible like your pills. Those flights you got coming out of Europe? I need a few seats. I'll make a few calls. Because either I'm going to see you and get that money, or I'm going to see you and you're going to get something a whole lot worse. They're not going to be able to get that cash out of there. Doubt it. Hey, there's things of discussion. Hey. Must be annoying that always on the run, literally. Guys, your faces were under You can get to Lyon by midnight. I can get you on a flight. Well, they probably have a chance. You know what? Right? I actually really like how they've used John Abruzzi's family. You know what I mean? The the drug lord, so to speak, to kind of I don't know, bring some sort of what would you call it? Like substance to it. You know what I mean? It's not just a random person here and there. It's the Abruzzi family, which I don't know. It's just a bit of nostalgia, isn't it? That's what I was trying to say. And it's interesting that, you know, he didn't actually borrow the 100K. He's basically saying that he was doing this and doing jobs and he realized like what he was doing and he's deciding that he didn't want other people to have it and all this stuff and he threw it away. But basically it was 100 grand's worth and they want it back. And that's why he's in that position. But also, and the US got a mad fentanyl thing going on now. I always see it all the time on like Twitter and TikTok and stuff where like, you know, people walk up and down the streets and they're saying like, it's crazy what's going on in, in the country. And it's like, you know, like San Francisco's quite popular, like in terms of the videos. And it's just crazy. You just see everybody lay all over the streets. It looks like mad, like people are zombies and all that. I don't know if it's a, a new drug that everyone's using and it's cheap and stuff, but it's crazy what it does to people anyway. It looks well scary. Why would he come back here? To the States? He's more wanted here than anywhere else in the world. Because of them. He had a life before he worked for me. And when he went away, I ended up looking after them. <laughs> ended up falling for them. So that one part of his game then, he just actually fell into he it. He wants to kill me. I mean, he's a murderer, a turncoat, a terrorist. I'll be the bait if I have to. He's not just gonna stroll in here. He's too clever for that. Oh right, the guy that actually done the phone. Plan, so you in turn can be the hammer. Read the image through a server to this blue Hawaii guy, but it could have been secretly subreddited to another yet unknown recipient. The images are all sorts of stuff. Apparently mundane as hell. Visiting hours for zoos, links to defunct message boards on the internet. Images of the Harlan Gaines murder. What's the bastard doing rubbing that in our faces? Russians do it, Chinese, everybody. He's probably thinking if anyone sees this, this will be as far as they'll look. Point is, we put big data AI on this. We can crunch any codes hidden in there pretty quickly. The thing is, though, yeah, is that Elvis guy just nothing then? Was that just like a person, like he was saying, just like a gateway as it actually diverted to somebody else? Because I've got him so far off his game now, he'll start to play his cards too early. Teddy. Hitting him again. You must take a life. It's called his payphone in France. I thought I was going with you. Not until you find out why you're my whip hand. In the 
grandiosity of his plan, he'll lose sight of the simplest details. I think it's I think that Michael knows all of this stuff. I'm saying it with a Christina one. Do you remember when she tracked down his phone? Three minutes before a direct flight to New York, where you'll be waiting for him. I don't know. I feel like Michael's anticipated all of it, if I'm being totally honest. Back of the plane. Uh, excuse me. Looks like the game's still going. Exactly. You know what I mean? Michael's not daft, is he? He knows what he's doing. Like, he's done this before. I thought he slipped up when he had his mum getting his location, but he actually knew it. You know, he wanted him to find it so he could sneak in the car and put that stuff in it. Do you remember? So, it's not stupid. Do you know what, right? What I've learned from this show is... Uh, Michael is cleverer than everyone. Now... I would I kind of like it if people win and lose situations. Just makes it more interesting because you never know who's actually coming up trumps. That's why I thought what Mahomes when he first came in, I really enjoyed it because it was him and Michael back and forth, two clever minds going head to head. But it seems like Michael always wins, and I've accepted that now. Do you know what I mean? So it's like I accept that when everybody says who they're not, I'm thinking that they're just chatting to me and they are like the company or they are these people Poseidon. Do you know what I mean? And I always think that Michael's going to win and. Um, now I've I've watched it enough that I just want him to, <laughs> you know what I mean? You and your brother here are gonna lecture me? We were actually debating on whether I should give you the hundred K or not. How about you just shut up and pay me, Burroughs? I don't have him. Grab these guys, bring them to the back and shoot him. I don't think you want to add murder to your arrest warrant. It's a DEA informant. He's got three vans full of agents who are waiting for his call. Unless you forgive my brother's debt, then our informant won't make the call. Why don't you tell you guys to drop the guns? Scare that guy off. Bring these guys to the back. They make a move, he makes a call. We got Who's he got? Come in. Yeah. Let's go. Are they gonna move the trucks or are they just gonna leave him? I wanna know who was driving them. All right, no way. Thank you for everything. You have no idea how happy I am to see you back home. Tricking a Britchie's kid is one thing. Poseidon, he knows your face. But your face is a liability now to you and your family. They may know his face, but they don't know mine. You take care of her, all right? I take care of him, you mean. <laughs> that is true as well, you know. When you need me again, you know where to find me. Just call and I'll be there. Hey. That doesn't bother you, what you just saw in there? Down in the basement with his wife, the woman he says he fell for? Stop. I'm done with 21 Void after this. After we get Schofield. Outus. That's all I ever wanted, to get Gaines' killer. But what he's got going on in there, that's not normal. We can do whatever we want. And if we want to disappear after this, we can disappear. She'll end up taking him out later down the line. Well, next episode, I reckon. He's obviously watching it. Look, he knows something's going on. It was all staged, but Burroughs is going to die for it. I don't know how we're going to find him. He's in the wind. Maybe not. Easy pass transponders. And put a bullet in that son of a bitch once and for all. I give you some coordinates. Can you take me to him? See what I can do? These coordinates are in the middle of Lake Michigan. Well, I guess he's got to go to the middle of Lake Michigan then. Do you know what I mean? He's got to go there, get a boat and sail out. No lights. I don't think they're here, Michael. Unless that's what he wants us to think. Be careful. That's why Sarah never responded. All oh, right, because all these things are down there. Who's throwing him down there? Like, we've never actually seen how they've actually got into that position. We won't have to contact anyone. All right. But you're telling me that Sarah's never warned Scott there and opened the letter first. You know what I mean? Like, it's not really believable in my opinion. His stuff would have been left out for on purpose. Like, he, he's going to leave stuff to get Michael thinking. It sounded like Sarah was there, but the guy was talking about a basement, wasn't it? What are you doing? That's not Sarah, man. He doesn't know I know. He must be right there with her. I'm going to set a meeting. And the end game begins. He must have been with her then, yeah, because he did say that he owed her a dinner, didn't he? A nice filet mignon. He's waiting for us to push the first piece out onto the board. Which would be me. Something I can help you with? Car service. I'm here to pick up a lady and child. 
They got another ride. Hit the road. Marked a black SUV. No need. They were just here to make you show your face. Walk away, please. No. They didn't show. I'm coming back to you now. They didn't show. I'm coming back to you now. Yeah, baited him. He's done so well he there. His brother, his biggest piece. Soon he'll have to show his face. I would hope that somebody was tailing Lincoln and it's a, a bait and bait and bait. Do you know what I mean? Yo, where's he go? Hey, can you hear me? Nope, you're on the ground. What are you doing here? I lost reception in the garage. Damn it. You you're just showing it? Answer. Now they've got a mark on us. Uh -uh. Mate, absolute rookies out there. You know what I mean? That is an absolute rookie. Oh, look at on the top of the building. They would never have saw Michael up there. Shoot. So that's what the dog who's destroying my country looks like. Here we found the car. We're on the corner of third and Washington by an alley. Right, obviously Sarah's there, but you know, how rookie is it from that woman, you know, to go over to Poseidon? So if you think about it, you know, they've used a thing where they've created um like created a opportunity for him to reveal his face you know the guy on the phone then what they've done is obviously they, they counted it real quick and it's like look i'm coming to you so then they've used it so that lincoln has to show his face so that two pawns are on the table do you know what i mean both of them have made the first move then he dipped the female out to go and take out lincoln but then they've then baited her and like she's not even sensed that the, the, the fact is she should have realized that they used him to get him out, and then they used Lincoln to get them out. And then, obviously, she's just gone back and was like, hi. And he's like, mate, what are you literally doing? Have you not read the room? We're both trying to pull each other out here. Literally, they sent you into that garage for one reason only. Do you know what I mean? To make it so that we couldn't have contact. So you just walk straight out and come straight to me. Give them exactly what they wanted. Clever from Michael. They would never would have seen him. He was mooch his way top of that building. You wouldn't see that in a car as well. And do you know what I think is interesting? Is in the US, they call them sedans and in the uk we call them saloons you know what i mean to like the cars that are not hatchbacks they're saloons or you can have an estate um but yeah they always call it like a black sedan or a gray sedan but uh, why do different countries have different names for vehicles no one in the back seat no the windows were blacked out we couldn't see a pirate ship with three pirates man woman and a boy it's me sarah and mike yeah it's encoded in him he's got my dna he didn't even know you were coming <laughs> that's Someone true i don't know I mean, probably is because he planted it before, but how? Do you know what I mean? What? How the hell did he track us here? I don't know. But all I know is all the chickens are coming home to roost at the worst possible time. This ship, this galleon, the body of water it's on, up in the Finger Lakes district, Long Lake. This X would be on the east shore of that lake. That's actually really clever. Uh -uh. What? You're going back to Buffalo. What? I want you to be with your family, look after the refugees. Link. I can never forgive myself if something happened here. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna take one out in the lake. Jack and it's something simple. It's not a human. Been thinking. Because a hard bargain's been presented to me. And I'm considering something that's, that's gonna seem like the old Theodore Bagwell. And if that's indeed what's coming, it won't be the work of a cold-blooded man. And it won't be for sin. If there's blood on my hands, know this world. It'll be for love. What? What's Michael just got in there for? Why is it he just picked up a pot of blood? Um, okay. She's, uh, she's a little under the weather. Everything will be fine, kiddo. I said to kids, yeah, I was going to say, not going to poke his head around and have a look. Hmm. I thought that she might have turned or she might be knocked out. See, it makes you think, did this guy leave it, Poseidon, or has the kid purposely done it? Yo, that's good, that, actually. Isn't it? That timing's perfect for them. You can actually go in and grab them. What kind of honorific is wet? Who's asking? Man, drawn into this by destiny. Only one person calls me whip. You ain't him. Man who gave me this hand. Nobody. Or for those of us who know him. Michael Schofield. We all got handles, don't we? But you're Dave Martin, aren't you? You better start talking, old man. <laughs> you don't want to 
tangle with his. Yeah, do you? West Virginia honky-tonk 1991 pretty waitress. Bunch of personal business between us after closing. And then I get because Johnny Law's breathing down my neck. Schofield was looking for a partner. Coleman Prisons looking for someone who could handle himself. And with your innate ability to thrive, rising to the top and even the worst of cages, you reminded him of a certain someone. Want to know what we all want to know. Did you learn it? Or was it ingrained in you? You got it from me. That is mad twist, that, isn't it? See, Black's got a kid. That is actually mad. I don't think it's Sarah on that chair. Link, he's here. Hold up. I think Jacob's coming back. Something's wrong. Sarah's here, but something's wrong. Don't do anything. He's coming back. I'm going in. It's not Jacob. Burrows! Oh. Michael should have heard that gunfire as well, you do not think. You know who I am? I got your map. I'll get you and your mother out of here. I, I didn't draw a map. See? The guy? It, I mean, it was too good. It was clever. He got the idea off Michael. Oh, she's been sat there bare time waiting. Oh, look at that, mate. Someone's head just been blown against the door. Ah, oh, the episode's ended. That's interesting. Now, it ain't Lincoln who's been shot, if I'm being totally honest. You know, I mean, it, it might, he may have been shot in the car. I don't think it's Lincoln who's been shot at the door. I'm thinking it's the guy with the half ear shooting somebody. But then I don't know. It can't be T-Bag. Yeah, it's not going to be someone like Sino or, or um, too crazy. You know, Lincoln looks like he's in the vehicle, been shot down. Sarah's been tied up. Poseidon's drove off. They're the only other two people that I can think who's got some sort of ability to use a weapon, but I don't know who it would be that would have been shot, though. Does that make sense? Um, it's interesting. You know, she's waited for ages. She's baited him, you know. It's clever, really, that map that the little kid was drawing up. To be honest, it really smart. He was saying that he's left a um, Lego for his mate, and he's drawn it, and it's a path, and it goes him, and it's the cannons and all that. Now, to be fair, the insinuation... And, um, I don't know, his design was good. But it wasn't, like... Uh, at the time, I was like, well, you can't technically tell that that's a path up to the park and that's the pond and that's the sandpit. You know what I mean? Where this one that he's drew, you could. Um, it was, like, the technical things and it was the roads. And then, obviously, you had the house and you had the shape of the lake, which is perfect. Like, Michael held it up together. And then it had a cross. Obviously, X marks the spot and that's where you go. And... Um, I'm not saying that I thought that he actually left it because I actually didn't know. It was good that he baited him, though. Um, and now they've left us on a mad cliffhanger that somebody actually has been killed. I mean, they've got to have died, hasn't they? Like, a blood splatter like that? Surely somebody's just been murdered. But again, another good twist with the fact that um, Whip is T-Bag's kid. I don't know, like, why we're putting it in the show, if that makes sense, but I'm all for it. I don't know how it's going to benefit the storyline, but maybe it gives a justification of why Michael uses him and the abilities that he's got, and it justifies how we've brought T-Bag into it as well. You know what I mean? Because I was saying at the start of the show, when T-Bag got Michael's picture, like, what, why is he sending it to T-Bag? You know what I mean? And like, like, why is he getting a hand? And, um, and you know what I mean? I was just thinking, like, why is T-Bag kind of involved? Like, why is Michael using him? Maybe this is the reason why. Maybe it's because this whip has helped him this whole time and he's decided, you know what? I'm going to give him something back. This is his dad. And, uh, you know, if we get through, I'll reunite him. So I really do like that. Hey, that's going to wrap up today's episode. Thanks so much for checking out the channel today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. If you're not yet voted for your most liked or disliked characters of this season, please do take 30 seconds and your results will mind be shown in the final episode. As well as the most liked um, characters throughout the whole entire franchise, series, and also the next show on the channel. Lots of stuff to get our teeth into. Now, today's episode, we ended on the crazy cliffhanger. Obviously, someone's died, but we don't know who it is. Sarah's being locked up somewhere, but it doesn't look like it's going to be in this house. And also, you know, Michael looks like he's been trapped now. It looks like a Bruce's kid has shot <laughs> Lincoln as well, which is crazy. And, um, you know, we've got to conclude all these storylines in the next episode. Uh, is Michael going to win? Is he going to lose? I'm fully expecting him to win, obviously. I don't think he's going to die. You can't pull that twice, you know what I mean, in season four and season five. Um, but we never know actually what's going to happen to Sarah. You know, she could actually die. It's going to be interesting and exciting. I like how Whip is now going to be teabags well not now going to be he is teabags kid it looks like and i'd like to see a bit of information that was inside that letter unless it was the one that michael actually gave teabag and he's just giving it him uh, another interesting thing is 
you know, uh, Sheep has come in and she's obviously helped um, Lincoln. Now, Lincoln's obviously said that if he uh, had anything happen to her, then he couldn't let himself down, do you know what I mean? And he's asked her to go back and help her family, but he did give her a kiss. And it's just, it reminds me of uh, what happened with uh, Sophia, you know what I mean? Like, somebody's come in and helped him. Um, he said that, basically, they was in a relationship, opened a dive shop, it kind of went south with them, they kind of broke up, and that was the reason why he ended up getting in the position where he's working with Abruzzi's son. Um, he found out, you know, some information and obviously you know he's uh through the um fenton all the way that's where the hundred grand come from they obviously kind of used that in a way to bring him back to the u.s and it was good that he had tino on the phone making it look like the agents was coming all they need to see is the suvs coming and they're gonna have to run off now they can't wait to see if they're gonna get arrested or not uh but then if you use that to their advantage themselves use the cameras use the cars gone round searching and that's how they track lincoln down but another thing as well which i think is interesting is that um you know one of the agents the male i don't know the name so i do apologize he started saying that he wants to get out you know forever 21 i think that's what it's called he's saying look after this job we're done you know i wanted to get michael schofield you know keneal otis whatever his name was it was here it was hired i wanted to just get um, the person who killed the agent and uh, after that jobs are good and do you know what i mean i'm gonna step away and she's like you know that you can't do that you know that once you're in you can't get out and that's pretty much like i was saying uh with killerman and his mate as well you know one of whom kind of wanted to step away he was packing his house he was trying to leave and obviously paul turned up and he killed him uh even though they've been working together for years that's just the way it is, isn't it once you start you can't stop and obviously next episode is going to be interesting to see how we conclude the series thank you checking out today's if you did enjoy it please smash the like really helps out subscribe if you're new and as always i'll catch you in the next one Cheers, guys.